Um, once again, we're not gonna hold the actual handle from the inside, we're gonna go a little bit further out. Really on this exercise, we wanna make, make sure that we are leaning back, but we are keeping our chin not tucked in, but at least level. If we can look up a little bit, it usually brings your chin up a little bit. And with chest training, that's what we want. We wanna be able to get more air because the more that the weight increases, usually we struggle a little bit and that's when that chin does what? Goes down into your chest and then you start talking like this and looking like this and it doesn't look cool and it definitely doesn't feel comfortable. So we wanna keep it level, level chin. If not, we can lift it up, look up, look around, do whatever you gotta do. Um, time and retention is key, of course. When I do eight to 12 reps on this, if you can do more than eight, or if you can do more than 12, increase the weight. If you can do only do eight, stay there. And if you do less than eight, lower the weight just a little bit. All right, let's go get it. So one of the things that you guys noticed on this one is that I was holding for a one count at the top. Uh, really just trying to make sure we feel that contraction. And, uh, and actually with this type of weight, it allows me to see if there's any soreness of any other body parts. Sometimes it could be a front delt, side delt, something like that. You just never know. So it's always good to have that first set be something that allows you to assess um, how your body is feeling functionally throughout each rep. If you start noticing any twinges or anything like that, that's time to start thinking of what you have, have been doing to cause that, whether it been bad form and technique during the other exercises or your current exercise. Being a big guy like myself, I'm 5'9", I weigh upwards to 275 pounds. How I actually sit in the car to sitting at my desk to even how I lay down in the bed, if I lay down being a side sleeper, my shoulder could hurt, right? Because I'm putting all this weight on one side. So when I'm starting to do these different movements, oh man, my shoulder feels out of whack. Or my trap, everything feels kind of out of whack. Well, it could be because of how you're sleeping and how you're actually uh, maneuvering yourself throughout the day. Also, sometimes you get bad neck strain from doing what? Being on the mobile telephone, doing this, having tech neck, right? So you have to really keep all these things in mind when you're in the gym training because these are the things that can disallow you from actually getting those personal bests. Yeah. <sighs>